Hey everyone, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and stop what you're doing and watch the Bible Projects video of Song of Songs. Should be on the website, if not, just look it up on YouTube. Um, you can find it and just type up Song of Songs Bible Project, and it should be good. Um, Alright, so if you've done that, there are also a couple other videos that I hope that you've watched. So we did a video where we reviewed Proverbs super quickly, which was the last one, last class that we had together in person. Uh, we also did a Job video, so go ahead and watch that if you haven't had the chance. I know a lot's happening, very busy lives, but it's this exploration of God's wisdom and an invitation into it. So, again, we've gone over the Tanakh, and so that kind of breaks down into the T, the N, and the K. That's where you get the Tanakh. The T being the Torah, uh, which is the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. N being the Nevi'im, the prophets, and uh, you have the K being the Ketuvim, which is the Psalms, all of the wisdom literature that we'll see. And uh, it's important because uh, as a family, go ahead and grab a Bible and pull out Luke 24, 44, and read that to understand a little bit of why we want to examine this. And so as soon as you have that, go ahead and start it again, um, and it shows Christ talking, everything that's written about me in the Law of Moses, the Torah, the Prophets, the Nevi'im, and the Psalms, which is the Ketuvim. And so we want to look at it and find Jesus in all of these different things, uh, but also just to understand what's happening historically. So uh, review again about Israel and Judah, when they split, the Assyrians taking the uh, Israel, Babylonians taking Judah, Persians taking them both. So we've gone over the Ketuvim, we just finished that which is called, well, the first part of it, which is called the Emet, which is Psalms, Proverbs, and Job. And so the first letters of those in Hebrew spell out this Emet, which uh, is the Hebrew word for truth. So these are the scrolls of truth. And we now are in this new section called the Megalot. And that's these five books that are right here. And so it's uh, Song of Songs, Ruth, Lamentations, Ecclesiastes, and Esther. A couple of things about it. The Megalot is about the five feasts of Israel, and so each one of these books is associated with the feast. And I'm sad because I wanted to actually make these feasts uh, with y'all and have these on Sunday mornings. If you want to do that as a family, reach out to me and I can give you some of the recipes or what to do, um, or you want to just look at it yourself, that's great. Either way, I encourage you to do that in whatever capacity you can. Uh, all, also, these five books are supposed to correspond to the five books of the Torah. Uh, which is a beautiful thing that we'll talk about more. These are also called the five female books because they are in feminine voices. Uh, Ruth, is, uh, Ruth and Esther are obviously about these feminine characters, but Song of Songs, Lamentations, and Ecclesiastes uh, have this feminine voice in their titles, and we're going to see a lot of garden imagery that we're going to talk about, um, and a lot of that is kind of going back to Genesis. So. The Megalot, these five books, the five feasts, the five books, uh, uh, the five female books, and the five books that correspond to the Torah. They're incredibly important. So if you've watched that Bible Project video, uh, I want to add a couple of things to it. So the book of Song of Songs is associated with the Feast of Passover. Now, you don't generally take it during the uh, Passover, but it's a preparation leading up to the Passover. And what that was saying is that there's this preparation of this deeper relationship, um, this covenantal bond with God. And so you see it going back to Genesis with Abraham, where there's this covenant between God and his people. Um, and that's going to be a little bit of the imagery in Song of Songs. Now, disclaimer, yes, it's about Christ and the church. Yes, it is about God and Israel. But it's also about sex, uh, largely about sex. And that's kind of something that we've tiptoed around uh, sometimes as a church in the past. And actually, I think this is a beautiful time to reclaim it because in this preparation for the Passover, Israel saw uh, the preparation as being this bridegroom and bride relationship. Um, and it was going back to the garden. Again, you'll see Song of Songs constantly talking about the garden as well as the rest of these books in the Megalot. Uh, and it's pushing for this idea of a vulnerable, safe relationship, untainted by pride, sinfulness, and selfishness. And so this is something that I think we should reclaim uh, and examine and celebrate. 
in a lot of different ways because um, both divine relationship and covenantal relationship uh, in, with humanity, right? So don't be afraid to, to look at some of these different aspects. It is about sex. It's about sexuality. And um, it's a, a mourning in some ways or rejoicing in other ways of this relationship that it was meant to be, this garden relationship that is vulnerable, that is loving, that is pure, uh, that is based in this covenant. So watch those videos, Song of Songs, the Proverbs video, the Job video, and catch us on Minecraft, and we're building some stuff. It's going to be fun. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, miss you all. All right, bye.